Hello everyone and welcome to Crowdin. In this video, I will show you how to quickly and easily translate your Strapi content. With Crowdin Strapi integration, you can upload your content for translation and download translations as soon as they are ready. Let me show you how the integration works. To use this integration, you'll need to have a Crowdin Enterprise or Crowdin.com account. I already have an account with a project, so let's start by finding the app in the Crowdin store and installing it. Strapi can now be found in the integration section of my Crowdin project. To make this connection work, we need to connect our Strapi account with Crowdin. For that, we need your Strapi URL and an API token. To get your API token, head over to Strapi settings and click API tokens. Now you need to create a new token. Provide details such as name, token duration and token type. If you want to choose the custom one, you'll need to specify scopes which define the access for your token. Note that giving access to i18n module is mandatory. Finally, click save. Copy the token and paste it into our integration form. Now we're on the integration screen. On the right side, you'll see all your translatable content. On the left side, you'll find content types that you've already requested translation for. But before requesting the translation for your content, you should configure the integration first. Go to settings. Here you have to choose language codes for your languages. Click save and you're all set. To upload content to Crowdin for translation, I select it on the Strapi side and then click Sync to Crowdin. Now I'm ready to order professional translation for my content, or I can have an automated Crowdin workflow configured to order translations whenever I synchronize new content to my project. I can see the translation progress of my content in the status bar. Now let's check how my content appears to translators. A manager wouldn't typically visit this page very often. I just wanted to show you that Crowdin tries to provide as much contextual information to translators as possible. This is my article in the Crowdin editor, rendered as accurately as possible. When the translations are ready, to synchronize the translated content back, simply select the file and then click Sync to Strapi. Now let's return to Strapi to check out our translated article. This is my article translated to German. It looks great! And that's it! Now you know how to integrate Crowdin and Strapi. Furthermore, Crowdin also offers a variety of additional features that enable you to automate the synchronization process, ensuring that your content is always up to date with the latest translations. To learn more and start a free trial, follow the link in the description below. Thank you for watching!